All right, guys, good morning. Go to Boy32 here. Check it out. I bet you're wondering what you're looking at right here. Well, guys, I'm getting ready to start this thing called a DMR challenge, and it's going to be a lot of fun. And in, in doing so, I'm going to utilize the DMR reticle, i.e. the ACSS reticle from Primary Arms that the gentleman Dimitri devised and <laughs> implemented. And one of the things that you have to do is you have to grow uh, familiar to the point where it's uh, second nature with this thing. So what I did was I decided to go ahead and set up a shooting range. And it's right here on this marker board. And these little things right here, these are representations of a man-sized silhouette. And it is 36 inches from top to bottom, or top to bottom, and then 18 inches across. And the reason I do that is because that's your typical size for any DMR match, unless it's an enclosed steel or anything else. But using the ACSS reticle, what I wanted to do was familiarize myself on the different aspects of the reticle and how it works in relation to ranging these individual targets. Now, all the way up to here, this is a thousand yards. And these are scaled out so that they're reflective of the distance. So this one right here, this is 300, this is like 375, 400, 500, 550, 600, 700, 800, 900, and 1,000. Another reason I wanted to do this is because not every target is going to be at 800 yards or 900 yards. So I needed to be able to kind of determine on how I was going to do that. Let me put my coffee down. So what did I do? Well, this. This is my reticle on my scope. And all you got to do is you take, uh, if you've got a little overhead projector paper that the teachers use, what they'll do is you print out the reticle on that paper. As you can see right there, that's not the view you want to have coming at you. But what I do in my time that I'm not actually out at the range or I'm busy or anything else, is I wanted to learn how this reticle works because in a competition, you don't have time to kind of figure it out. You need to know. Or in a stressful situation, you need to know. Now, we're going to back this up by taking this reticle out to the 1,000-yard range. I'm going to have somebody spot for me, and I'm going to use the reticle by itself, no turret adjustments. And, you know, back in the day, or it's still in the day, you, uh, you would normally know where your marks are. So you could use the mill dots to range estimate and make your adjustments there. With this one, this is a mill uh, dot adjustments, but as you can see from all the way to top to bottom, you've got these things. Now this is kind of cool because I can do it like this. All right, so let's talk about these hash marks across the top. I want to just give you a brief rundown on what this thing is if you're not familiar with it. These are spaced apart at one mil each, but each line designates a certain distance in height. So this specific reticle is set up so that this equates to 36 inches. Now if your scope is a first focal plane, it doesn't matter where you've got it zoomed in or out. So we're looking at this. If I put this line on my target and it matches from top to bottom, this is 36 inches at 400 yards. This is 36 inches at 500 yards. This is 36 inches at 600, 700, 800, 900, and 1,000. So what I'm doing is essentially I am taking this target or this reticle and I'm putting it right here. And you guys might not be able to see that where you're at, but I am determining that this is a 36 inch target and it is at 400 yards. Pretty cool. So this is just but one means of determining the distance of that specific target. Now, we've got a couple other situations. You've got these little, little circles right here. Well, now, what are these guys? Well, these are based off of 10 inches uh, at distance. So this one right here, this is 10 inches at 300 yards, four inches or 10 inches at 400, 500, and 600. Same situation. I can take a target that is at 500 yards right here. I can place this over top of that that 10 inches encompasses the head of that silhouette. So my approximate is at 500. Now if I want to go ahead and double check, I can bring it down here, 500. 
there you go. So there's two means of verifying your distance of your target. Distance is the biggest equation in long distance shooting. Good friend of mine, Ray, he and I have a conversation the other day and he is an expert at this. And so it's always fun to talk to people who are experts in kind of verifying the information that you're finding out. Now, method number three, we got some cross hashes right here. Move out of the way so you can see. Now, the nice thing is, is where this is 36 inches, this is 10 inches at whatever distance you're known at, this is 18 inches. Okay, so 18 inches, unless you're talking about somebody like me who has a broad shoulder, but on average, you're going to be torso enough to where you're going to be on target. So you've got 18 inches here. So if I want to say, for instance, I want to know what this, the, the distance is for this, this guy right here. Okay, so all I got to do is I take my reticle, I put it on there, and I can go right here. Look at that, 18 inches across the shoulders or across the sternum or silhouette there, and that's 800 yards. Do I want to back that up and try to confirm it? I can bring it down here. There's eight, six, 36 inches on top. I don't have anything to confirm the head size because it is a little bit small, but I know we're further than 600 feet. So what does that say to me? I got a reticle here that I can verify in three different fashions the distances on that. Now, again, it may seem like a long time to go from here to here to here, but that's why you need to know your reticle and the reticle distances. And that's why we put this board up so that I can familiarize myself and grow to know the reticle like it's nothing but second nature. It's a pretty cool situation, pretty cool deal. I'd like to congratulate Dimitri. This thing is awesome. And the reason I did this, guys, is that like many of you people out there who are shooting, I grew up, we had a set of crosshairs or we had a set of iron sights. We weren't used to all this stuff. You've got the trimmer reticle, you've got the EBR, there's a bunch of different ones out there. Too many that I don't even know of. But I felt like this guy right here suited my needs and it is what it is. Now, for those people who are not using this, this is a DMR. This is for Designated Marksmanship Rifle. So what does that mean? I'm not out here shooting 10 inch steel at a thousand yards, okay? That's not what the design specification is for. Does that sound right? Well, anyway, that's it. This is my training method that I'm using for the ACSS reticle. I wanted to give you a layman's terms on how this thing works. All you got to do is remember, these lines up here are 36 inches up and down. These lines right here are 18 inches across, and these are 10 inches. Now, the other cool part about it is that he's figured in the windage on this. Five, uh, 10, I think. I don't know. <laughs> and also, we've got running stuff in here. I'm not really concerned about that right now because we're not shooting running targets, but uh, at the end of the day, there's some things that we can figure out, and we'll get into that down the road, but I'm excited to take this thing out to the 1,000 yards. We're going to do it today. I'm going to have a friend of mine. He's going to call the shots for me. Hopefully, he can make it, And uh, because what I want to do is I want to put a clock on it. I don't want to just set up a camera, run up there, reset the camera. I want to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I know out the 900, my rifle's accurate. I can't see the hits at 1,000. That's it. The ACSS reticle, this thing's bad to the bone. If you've got any questions, don't please, please don't hesitate in asking down below. And we'll end it like this. God bless America. God bless his men, women in uniform. 24-7 for our freedom. This freedom is the ability to tell what your target is and be accurate out to 900, 1,000 yards. It's easy. It's simple. And you can do it. Let's go to War 32. Out.